Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, one of the cool things about getting to play around with new technologies is whenever you start mixing and matching all of them. So, in this video right here, what I'm going to do is we're going to be generating a short movie script using ChatGPT. And then we're going to be loading that script into DID, which is the video I made about pretty much uh, text or audio to facial animation. Um, video if you will and then what we'll do then is actually import the DID video into Unreal Engine now and there's a couple of reasons as to why you would want to do something like this and the first thing that really comes to mind for me is previous you know if you don't have talents or actors or you don't know how to use a lot of 3d softwares you can potentially do this to create some kind of previous for your movie or just or pretty much just maybe learn how to block your scene and play around with different camera angles so yeah that's kind of where i see this being useful uh, with that being said we're already here in chat gpt and i'm just pretty much gonna say you know generate a quick script for us to use here so write a movie script about two people arguing about ai art I don't know. That's like a big topic right now. So let's go ahead and generate that. <laughs> okay. So that's what we have now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be separating the girls. Looks like it created a girl and a boy. I'm going to separate the girls dialogue to the guys dialogue. And then I'm going to be inputting that in the DID right here. Uh, and again, big thanks to DID for giving me some more credit so I can play around with this more. Uh, so I'm going to be copying and pasting the dialogues here. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in DID. If you haven't seen my full video on this, I covered this already. But pretty much, I just created a new video file. And I chose just this actor right here, which is the first one. Uh, now, what's cool about using the high-quality version characters is you can change the background to a green screen, which I'm actually going to do now. Matter of fact, I'm actually just going to do blue screen. So I'm just going to make this a blue screen because I think it, it works a lot better. <laughs> blue does. So I'm going to go ahead and close this right now. And I'm going to just say wide. Doesn't really matter. And we already have our script. I pretty much just copied and pasted on the right side. And for the voices, I'm going to go with... I'm going to... So after playing around with different settings, I think I'm going to choose Jason and then unfriendly right here. And what I'm going to do after that, I'm just going to say generate video right here and let's go ahead and sign up or sign in okay so i went ahead and logged in and this is going to take three credits so let's go ahead and generate while that's generating let's go ahead and create another video choose a presenter and i'll just choose her right here all right so i have both of my videos in the vince result right now so we're going to key them out and i'm just going to use the 3d keyer here so nothing too fancy okay so obviously it's a pretty terrible key but it's not a green screen game tutorial so i'm gonna go ahead and export these out i will say single clip for both of them is okay i'm just gonna use the same one it's fine and i want it to be an exr because we're actually we can actually export the alpha on this so i'm gonna say export alpha 24 frames per second and i'm just gonna say render and then we'll render this all while that's exporting, we are here in Unreal Engine 5.1, so make sure the plugin's enabled. If you're typing AXR, Image Sequence Player is good, it's already enabled. And by the way, if you purchase my course, this scene right here should look familiar to you. So I created a new folder called Jessica, and I'm going to right-click, and go to Media, Image Media Source, and I'm just going to say 2, double-click that, and we're going to find that file that we just exported out of Resolve. And I'm going to go to the advanced tab and go to 24 frames per second and then save. And after that, we'll just drag and drop our little footage here, turn it around and then see if we can simulate it. There you go. That should be good to go. And I can kind of see him. And then what I'll do is I'll create like a level sequence here so that we can kind of add this to the level sequence. Just like so. It's pretty crazy. I'll make this bigger, and you can kind of know where I'm going with this, and I'll create a camera. You know, I can maybe set it to, I don't know, 50. And obviously, our plane is messed up because it's not scaled correctly, but that's okay. We can fix that. 
So if I go to the scale right here, I'll just untick this and let's go 1.78 and that should fix that for us. So now it's not really squished, if that makes sense. And then I can just focus this camera now and this is so freaking cool I'm able to do this. Just like so and we're going to get a proper like depth of field and stuff like that, which is amazing. And what I'll do is I'll go to the actual material of this because it is kind of bright. Go to higher key, media plate, there's a media texture, the opacity um, is, is, is right there. So what I can do is I can just multiply that if I want to. This is just something quick that you can do. And then for the value for the multiplier here, you can mess around with it, but I think 0 0.1 should work. So let's go ahead and save that. And yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, you can also just adjust the, uh, the current aperture, obviously. That would kind of make it a little bit darker if you want to, but you're just going to have to turn everything else up pretty much. Um, so let me go ahead and do like 2.8 or something like that. But yeah, so this person is going to be talking. That's pretty crazy. I think he's a little bit too short. <laughs> it looks like he's kind of sitting down. So let me let me just move him up a little bit. And then I'll just kind of move the camera. I mean, the potential of this is just insane, man. It's it's so freaking cool just to be able to generate any of this without really getting up my chair. I mean, I could technically just get the spotlight or direct light in the back. And I can just turn this up even more. Go to the intensity and let's go to 100 to just give it a little bit of backlight. Obviously the, the, obviously, the color doesn't change or anything like that. But really, this is just a quick example of what this technology can do. So now I can actually animate this camera any kind of where I want to, you know, work with my angles, work with my blocking, my shot sizes. It's, it's incredible. Like this is, this is empowering. You're able to do this with artificial intelligence and Unreal Engine. I mean, eventually people are making a plugin for all of these AI into Unreal Engine 5. So, you know, eventually it's going to become even easier to do this. But, man, this is like one of the first things that I thought about whenever I was messing around with the DID. Because, uh, to be honest, like before I would actually use the video game called The Movies to previs my movies, like my shorts. Before I knew Unreal, I was prevising with, a, it's a video game, like an old video game. That's, that's what I was using to previs. But yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments below about this little experiment that we just did. I think it's it's super, super duper interesting. Uh, I'll change this to 24 and let's just give it a play. Because uh, it's HD too. It's just crazy, man.